Hi everybody, it's Shane at Big Oak, and today I'm going to be talking about sagebrush. And sagebrush is one of my most beloved plants. Uh, the smell just reminds me of home. It's just the smell of home. It smells so good. Coastal sagebrush, or Artemisia californica, or Romerio in Spanish, grows along the coastal slopes from around San Francisco down to Baja California. It forms part of what's known as coastal sage scrub. Many kinds of plants and animals specialize to this habitat, including the threatened coastal California gnatcatcher. A healthy sage scrub has wildflowers and bunch grasses like you see here. You can recognize it by its sage-like smell or its thin little leaves that often split into two or three fingers. It grows as a shrub and stays green throughout the winter and spring, but in the summer turns brown and dry before flowering in the fall. One of my favorite uses for this plant is toilet paper. You can pick several of the tender green shoots in the winter or it's a little rougher in the summer. Make a big wad and use it as toilet paper that leaves you smelling fresh. You can also use it as a scent for your armpits. If you find a large sagebrush with a trunk that bends over or is horizontal, you can find strips of fiber along the underside and you can peel them off and use them for things like weaving or a fiber skirt. The small brittle branches are some of the first branches to dry after a rain. I look for these when I want to start a fire. Animals will also eat the sagebrush, especially in the winter when they're the first shrub to have green tender shoots. Here a rabbit has cut several branches at an angle, snacked on them, and left them on the ground. The native peoples of California have also used sagebrush for a variety of things like menstrual cramps, women's puberty rates, and a wash for cuts. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and uh, hope you get out there and Roll around in some sagebrush and watch for ticks though. Alright, see you later.